Enough walking for today. We set up camp here. In case you schmucks have forgotten, the world is broken, very broken. What remains of civilization is at the mercy of forces we barely understand. What makes you think we'll find anything different at this new place? Wherever this new place even is, Bill could have at least gotten us closer to our destination. Damn teleportation. I don't know that we will, but at least we'll be sure. Uh, sure of what exactly? I don't know. His memory's going again. Your name is Bernie, Bernie Sanders. You're the independent senator from Vermont, at least back in your own dimension anyways. That's right. I think I remember a, a town. That's right, Bernard. We all met at that town not too long ago. We've been doing Bill Clinton's dirty work ever since. Surely you haven't forgotten all the crazy conspiracy bullshit Alex has been spewing the entire time. Who are you calling crazy? I'm the only one who really knows what's going on here. I think this is all a ploy to keep us distracted from all of Biden's illegal activities. Quiet, Alex. The only thing you know is whatever that dog-whistling fascist Trump tells you. Uh, Bernie, I wouldn't be so quick to ridicule Mr. Jones, especially given your current proclivities. What was that, you little weasel? You better shut your mouth before you say something you regret. Enough! First of all, Bernie, don't use weasel as an insult. That is very speciesist of you. But we have to remember the bigger picture. We were chosen by fate or God or whatever to save this universe, hell, the entire multiverse. There is no higher calling than this. We may be heading into the storm blindly, but we've managed so far. And doing something, anything, is better than doing nothing. Wow, that, that was moving, Alexandria. You've grown so much since you first entered Congress all those years ago, my pupil. We head out at dawn. The rift is three days travel. Rest yourselves tonight while you can. Good thing Bill provided us with these traveling clothes was starting to wear my other outfit a bit thin. They definitely wouldn't have lasted three more days. I mean, aside from the fact that you look like the fucking Undertaker, I'd say these are a vast improvement. AOC, however, who mama, you look good. Thanks, Ben. I know all you Republicans just want to date me. Let's just get some rest, okay? Well, here we are, the rift. All that's left is to mend it, and our long journey is complete. The universe will be saved. Well, judging by the size of that hole in the ground, I'd say we have our work cut out for us. Ah, uh, my friends, at long last you have made it. As you can see, the devastation from Donald's actions have affected this area particularly hard. I'll say, this is exactly what our Earth is gonna look like if we don't do something about climate change. Where are we anyways? Seems to be some sort of mining facility. Well, you may find it hard to believe, but you are in Angola. You're telling us we're in Africa? This is crazy. I can believe it. I mean, all this mining going on reminds me of Elon Musk's family-owned Emerald Mine operation. God, that guy is a creep. He was so into me. But you don't like him back, right? Hell no. I hate billionaires with a passion, and he was the most insane and rich of them all. Oh, thank goodness. I still have a chance. I wouldn't get your hopes up, Benny boy. Just because you don't have a nine-figure net worth doesn't mean these two don't think you're part of the so-called 1% they love to rag on, which is hypocritical, given Bernie's three houses. Ah, uh, shut up, Alex. It's not the money that bothers us. It's your ideology. I mean, I had great contempt for you before we were forced into working together. And you're broke. Guess that's what happens when you go spreading hateful lies about people who lost their children in a tragedy. Are you going to let him talk to you like that, Alex? He and Bill are cut from the same cloth. It's not too late to course correct and help me out. Get out of my head, Donald. You're making a huge mistake not listening to me. Whatever. Say, what is that up there? It looks like a pretty powerful weapon for one of those chalk drawings. Oh, shit. Thank God I'm still in one piece. Oh, shit, Alex. Uh, here goes nothing. Geronimo! That was close. Almost lost my yarmulke. Oh, and I see you're still alive, Alex. Geez, don't sound too excited to see me. Let's see what new horrors await us down below. It looks like an old western town. Very strange. This town, formerly known as Purgatory Point, was sent into the future through a temporal rift. That's how it ended up underneath the surface of Angola. This location holds immense importance for a variety of reasons. Look, a wall of weapon chalk drawings. Using deductive reasoning, one can easily come to the conclusion that we can draw wall buys ourselves. 
This, no doubt, would explain the mysterious question mark chalk drawings I saw on the way here. You just know everything, don't you, Ben? Wrong. Benjamin definitely doesn't know how to pleasure a woman. Well, I have more kids than you, Bernie, so clearly that isn't so. Alexandria, don't be swayed by his nonsense. I knew it. My hypothesis was correct. I just drew a wall by for the AN-94. That's great, but uh, guys, you may want to come take a look at this. What on earth? Doesn't this guy look a bit familiar? You're correct, Alex. You four have definitely seen this man before. The creature standing before you is, or at least was, Hunter Biden. This is inhumane. Keeping him locked up in here like he was an illegal immigrant during the Trump administration. Well, actually, Bernie, it was Barack Obama who started the Cage a Kid program, and Biden increased it as well. Don't be a partisan hack. Regardless, I think Hunter here is a danger to society and needs to be locked away for his numerous crimes. I actually think Big Dumb and Ugly here could be of assistance. Let's give him a chance. <laughs> ah, don't be scared. You may be able to lure him out of the cell somehow. Mm, a jug of whiskey. You like this stuff? Drink up, big guy. And I mean you, not your dad, who you helped make millions via corrupt business dealings in Ukraine and China. Jesus, he almost ran me over. But how did Hunter end up like this in the first place and in this jail cell under Angola in an old western town? Good question. I can only answer the first part, however. Years of drug and alcohol abuse completely fried Hunter's brain, leaving him in the state you see now. As to how he ended up here, your guess is as good as mine. This adventure just gets crazier by the minute. But still, maybe we can make use of Hunter's newfound strength and alcohol-induced rage. Whoa, what is this? Looks like the ray gun from before got a bit of a makeover. Well, hopefully it's more than just a cosmetic change and helps you kill those freak bags quicker. I believe you will find the ray gun Mark II to be a worthy successor to the original. Let's get to exploring the rest of the town, boys. Maybe we can find a power switch or something. Your prayers have been answered, Alexandria. The power is now on. Oh, cool, an old piano. Let me try playing something. Yep, I still got it. Stop clowning around, Alex. We have a job to do. Ooh, I thought I smelled something sweet. An old person's favorite snack, hard candy. You know, I'm starting to realize why Bill chose these outfits for us. Very fitting for our current locale. Yeehaw, I just got an old cowboy gun. Me too, but uh, you look more like a horse than a cowboy. Alex, you take that back this effing instant. You see, Alexandria is the most fair and beautiful maiden I've ever had the privilege of gazing my eyes upon. Her positive attitude radiates with the light of a thousand suns. Her eyes sparkle with a fire and determination that is admirable, and her feet smell of a fresh rose patch that she must frequently frolic through. And my heart beats out of my chest every time I'm around her. Even just the thought of being with her for the rest of my life fills me with a joy I have never felt before. If it were to happen, I wouldn't be able to contain my excitement. I would cherish and hold on to her and never let go. We would spend our days at amusement parks, the zoo, our favorite coffee shop, wherever she would want, and we would grow old together, being able to die knowing we had no regrets because we were together. Hypothetically speaking, of course, in the event in which I was some sort of liberal simp, which I am not. Oy vey Ben, you are something else. And damn it, Hunter, if I weren't a socialist, I'd tell you to go find your own candy. But here you go. <laughs> would you look at that? That must have been some sort of special candy, Bernie, because Hunter really liked it. He's bringing the box back for us. Damn it, I planted that crack lace candy hoping that Bernie would eat it. Hunter is ruining my plan. Thank you, Hunter. We appreciate it. So, Bill, what do we need to do here? First things first, you have to build the gallows. Gallows? You mean like a noose? Correct. Scour the area for parts, and you should see the place to build it by the town's courthouse. Oh shit, this is heavy. Guys, I just got one of these wonder weapons. Well, that ought to be useful for our mission. Let's hope it's better than that shitty jet gun from that town. Not hard to improve on garbage. I mean, that thing nearly got me killed. The only time wind energy has ever let me down. This thing is pretty awesome so far. It seems to slow the zombies down before killing them. I uh, can't figure out how to reload it though. That's because it has infinite ammo, Alex. This thing is overpowered as fuck. That's not even the best part. It has one other feature, but you'd have to be a real fool to think I'd tell you traitors. I found the gallows, so we just need to find parts and add them on. Well, I've been doing a bit of building myself, and it seems like that death trap from China is here, too. I hope you don't plan on hanging one of us here, Bill. 
I'm building another crazy device. This really goes to show the power of recycling. We're turning trash into machines that are gonna aid us in saving the universe. Okay, whatever, Captain Planet. Man, this old house looks creepy as hell. My eyes must be playing tricks on me because I swore it looked like someone was standing in the window. Don't be ridiculous. There's no way anyone is still alive in this town. Also, I think I finished adding all the pieces to the gallows. What now, Mr. President? Excellent work, my comrade. Next, you must use the subsurface resonator, which is the new device that Alexandria has masterfully crafted to destroy four orbs around the town. A couple of them are pretty hard to find, so get to looking. Well, guys, I still really have to take a shit. I've been holding it in for the past few days, and I need to go. So against my better judgment, I'm going to go inside this creepy house and take a dump somewhere. I doubt anyone will mind. This looks like a good spot. Ooh, now what is this? Looks like a useful piece of equipment. Five minutes later. Ah, much better. Ah! Did you guys hear that? Alex must have gotten his wiener stuck on his zipper or something. Let me go see if he's okay. Alex, you in here, buddy? Hello, anyone there? This is my house. Who said that? Oh shit, a real live ghost. What on earth? What are these things and where did they come from? Run, Alexandria. I'm being chased by spooky specters. Just shoot them, Bernie. They go down like everything else we've dealt with. You've got some real hoots, my kid, shooting a ghost like that. It worked, though, but they still keep coming. I think that's the last of them. We should probably avoid that mansion at all costs. That witch bitch or ghost or whatever doesn't like intruders. I mean, me relieving myself on her floor probably didn't do us any favors. Damn it, that ghost took all my money. Ah, uh, Bernie, I'm sure you have millions stashed away in your bank account. Cool it with the anti-Semitic remarks, Alex. I appear to be lost in some sort of maze. Ben, I hear your voice. Where are you? Don't worry, Alexandria. Your white knight in shining armor has arrived. All right, lovebirds, I found one of these orbs President Clinton mentioned. Bring that doohickey over here. Good job. Just three more to go. Looks like we have to go back through the haunted mansion to make it to the town. Get to looking for the last three orbs. Everyone, I'm ready to be done with this quest of ours. Found one. Let's blow this sucker up with that subsurface resonator thingy. There we go. Just two more. Good job, guys. <coughs> Alex, are you feeling okay? You can't be getting sick on us now. Uh, don't worry, guys. I'm fine. Looks like your trip to China wasn't without consequence. What are you going to do, Alex, when your house of cards comes tumbling down? They'll find out eventually that you have COVID, that you didn't get the vaccine, and they'll kill you for it. I won't let that happen. They'll understand. They trust me now. You'll see, Alex. And you'll wish you listened to me. Bill is leading you towards certain doom. Okay, another orb has been located. Time to destroy it. Like how I destroy liberal college students with blue hair. And now to destroy this final orb. I swear this subsurface resonator thingy is too noisy. It's damn near busted my eardrums. Excellent work, my friends. We are one step closer to separating Donald from the ether and setting this world right. I hope so, Bill. All these random steps and fighting off hordes of zombies can't have been for nothing. So what's next? Floating around the town will be a purple lantern. You must knock it down and feed it souls of zombies killed by Hunter. Time to let Hunter back out of his cage then. There's the lantern. Ah, oh, damn it, it teleported. Let's find it again. The lantern has been secured. Now we must coax Hunter into killing these undead flesh sores. I think giving him the crack candy would be the best course of action. Eat up, big fella. Now, can you please help us destroy these zombies? He's going sicko mode on these zombies, but I'm surrounded. Help! Off your keister, Alex. Guess it's a good thing the rest of us have the ray gun Mark II. Ah, uh, yes. The lantern has been charged with sufficient souls. Bring it to the roof of the blacksmith building immediately. Headed there now, Bill. But what for, exactly? This next part will be a bit tricky. You will see a code on the wall. The code tells you the order, that you must melee some signs in the tunnels above, using the Galva knuckles. I see it. How do we decipher it? I'm not sure to be honest. I'll leave that to you to figure out. Actually, now that I'm looking at it a bit closer, it does slightly resemble Hebrew writing. Maybe me and Bernie can translate it. I can't read Hebrew, Ben. I'm not as in tune with my Jewish heritage as you are. That explains why you caucus with the party that hates Israel so much. So fine, I'll do it myself. 
It's pretty nice that the ghost lady drops us one of those perk bottle thingies. I got this new perk earlier. It gives me like supervision or something because I can see where everything is through the damn walls. I noticed the same thing too. And it also appears like it makes the zombies drop little amounts of money and ammo occasionally. Oh, and also I translated the code. That's great, Ben. You know, I think a man with an intellect is super sexy. Oh, r really? Well, it was nothing, honestly. Will you two stop flirting? Bill, what do we do now? I don't want to listen to this shit anymore. Neither do I. Before malaying the final sign, you must place down a time bomb. It is the device that Bernie acquired from the magic box earlier. This device allows you to rewind time to a set point. After malaying the last sign, a wisp will appear. You must lead it to the gallows, feeding it zombie souls along the way. This step must be done twice, hence the use of the time bomb. You mean Bernie's been carrying around a pocket-sized time machine this whole time? Well, if anything goes haywire, I guess we can use it to save our skin. You know, I totally just realized, this is just like that movie, The Daily Wire produced with Gina Carano after the Wokies over at Disney fired her. That movie was horrible low-budget trash, Benjamin. You should be ashamed for working with her after her insensitive comments, especially as a Jew. And this is nothing like that, though I presume zombies would have made the film much more interesting. Guys, can you stop arguing? We need to complete the next step ASAP if we want to go home. We should all make our way to the tunnel so we're ready for when this wisp appears. Here we go, Bernie. Throw down the time bomb. There it is. Follow the wisp. It's moving fast. Just keep killing the zombies. This thing is hungry for souls. After them. Feast on their wretched flesh. Feel the burn, you undead maggot addicts. Just a little further. The gallows are just up ahead. We did it. Now rinse and repeat. Well, here goes nothing. Holy shit, we actually traveled back in time. Well, don't get too excited, Bernard. There's the wisp again. Looks like it's taking the same path. This should be a piece of cake. Almost there, guys. Keep fighting. This insane escort quest has been completed. What's next on your laundry list of increasingly insane tasks, Bill? Well, this next step is a real doozy, probably the most convoluted of them all. I cannot begin to emphasize how much cooperation is going to be required. It's a good thing we all work so well together. Oh, we're screwed. Don't lose hope yet, Alex. We have overcome some impossible odds together. We make an unlikely team. Damn right we do. We're a ragtag group of zombie-slaying multiverse-saving heroes. That's the spirit, my corporeal friends. So, let me get to explaining then. In the haunted house, there will be a switchboard with lights. Each row of lights corresponds to a room around the town. In each room will be three bells. Each bell corresponds to a light on the switchboard when rung. Three of you will have to wait at these bells and figure out which light on the switchboard they correspond to. The person inside the mansion will have to activate the switchboard, which will begin a sort of Simon Says-like game. One at a time, a bulb on the switchboard will glow, and whatever bell that light corresponds to will need to be rung. You must do this a few times. Coordination is key. Please tell me I'm not the only one who is completely lost. It's not that complicated. Maybe I should start calling you Sleepy Alex. And just how are we supposed to do all this when we are being swarmed by zombies? I trust that you four will figure it out. Good luck. Wow, so he'll leave us to save the universe on our own but wouldn't leave that demon Hillary after cheating on her. What the hell? Can't the big guy take one of these runs hostage? Good thinking, AOC. Come here, Hunter. I have some crack with your name on it. I'm sure it's not as good as that stuff you snuck into the White House, but hopefully you like it. Look, he's cradling the crawler like a baby. Say, Alexandria, hypothetically speaking, what if you were to cradle me into your bosom and I called you mommy? And let's also say for the sake of the argument, I wanted some milk. I'm going to just pretend I didn't hear that. Just get to looking for these bells, please. Well, for that atrocious comment, I volunteer Baby Ben to be the one to go into the ghost house. I'll do it. I don't fear death. If these ghosts drag me to the afterlife, so be it. As long as I can do my part to save the universe. Bernie? Don't worry about me, my dear. Just everyone find your bells. Found one of the sets of bells. Me too. Yep, same here. Aha, this must be that pesky switchboard. Okay, let's do this. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Oh, thank God. We finally did it. Well, we would have been done a long time ago if someone didn't keep screwing it up. <clears throat> Alex, 
Well, my fucking bad, okay? That shit made no sense to me. Bill explained it horribly. The rest of us understood it just fine, but whatever, it's done. Please tell me we're nearly finished, President Clinton. You shall be delighted to learn that this is the final step. All of your hard work and sacrifice is about to pay off. You must make a wish at the fountain, then all four of you must take position at certain areas of the town. A bunch of targets will begin to appear, and you all must shoot them without missing a single one. Oh, great. Another thing Alex is undoubtedly going to hold us back on. Shut up, you little twerp. Don't make me run a hit piece about you on InfoWars when we get out of here. Go ahead. I'm not even from the same dimension as you. It won't affect me. Enough, you clowns. We're about to save the entire multiverse. Now is not the time to be arguing. This is our victory lap. We need to focus and work together. Bill, where do we need to be stationed for these targets? In front of the courthouse, inside the saloon, the left side of the ghostly manor, and finally in the barn, looking towards the area where Hunter's cell is. Godspeed, my friends. Headed to the barn. Don't do this, Alex. You are making a grave mistake. Getting into position. All right, make a wish, Ben. Let's do this. Here goes nothing. Oh, snap, there's the targets. I can barely see them. It doesn't help that they move, too. My hands are so shaky. I'm pretty sure I've already missed a couple guys. Well, for once, I can't fully blame you, Alex. I definitely have two. My glasses must be fogging up or something. You must start over. Do it right next time. That's easy for you to say when you're not the one doing it. May I suggest using the paralyzer, Alex? It actually hits the targets very easily. Oh, now you tell me? Fine, I'll try that next time. Well, that was just a test run. Let's run it back. No mistakes this time. Just gotta memorize where these targets are gonna pop up. Easier said than done. I think I'm doing a better job than last time, though. Is it weird that part of me thinks this is kind of fun? Bill, you weren't kidding. This thing makes this a cakewalk. Take that, you cowboy target fucks. Old Bernie is too quick on the draw. Sounds like Bernie's having fun too. Calm down, you communist cowboy. We don't want you having a heart attack. Anyways, is that all of them? Incredible. Y you did it. We can finally rid the world of Donald's evil influence. Everyone make your way to the courthouse. In the back, you'll find a big red button to press. This will completely sever Donald from the ether. We see it, Bill. Hold up, guys. Everyone come here for a second. Why are you wasting time? Go press the damn button. You can wait one more minute, Bill. Jeez. I just wanted to say, despite our differences, we did it. Damn right we did. We made an unlikely team, that's for sure. But I'm glad. Suffice to say, I gained some respect for you two Republicans. You sure gave this old man an adventure to remember forever. And assuming we all go back to our own dimensions after this, Ben, tell her how you really feel. What? I have no idea what you're talking about. Ben, it's so obvious. You'll regret it if you don't do it now. Anything you want to tell me, Ben, I'm all ears. This may be the last time we see each other like this. I know. That's why it hurts so damn much. But Alexandria, I love you ever since I first laid eyes on you, and this whole journey has made me love you even more. If I could, I would return to your dimension instead of my own just to be with you. Ben, that's so sweet. I don't even know what to say, but thank you. That means a whole lot. You're special to me, too. Ah, uh, young love. But guys, we really should get a move on. I'm ready to go home. I need a hot shower and a long nap. You're probably right. Come on, guys. Let's go save the world. Finally, press the button. Do it now. Here we go. Goodbye, Donald. No! <laughs> what the what's going on thank you so much the ether is now mine to control wait what i thought we were simply expelling trump from the ether not instating you in his place you were fools to trust me they don't call me slick willie for nothing Regretfully, I must inform you that neither the Earth nor its people will survive. And by the way, I did have sexual relations with that woman. You monster! Oh dear God, what horrors have we just unleashed upon the universe? My master will surely take notice of this great feat of mine. I will be rewarded again with a paradise the likes of which you could never fathom. Please, my lord, come release your apothecons upon this world. Apothecons? What are those? Alien invaders? Alex, you idiot! I tried so hard to warn you. You've ruined all my fun and games. Ah, uh, Donald. 
You're still here. Time to rid the world of you once and for all. Damn you, Bill. You'll never get away with this. I believe I already have. Goodbye, Donald, my old friend. Enjoy the blackness of the void. Forever. Oh! Shit, guys. What have we done? We doomed the entire universe. May God have mercy on our souls. Oh, poor Benjamin. I am your god now. Oh dear. Well, that's not good. What is it, Dr. Mani? What's going on? It appears that Bill was not being entirely honest with you. He has completely taken control of the ether. What? He was supposed to restore the Earth. Our daughter probably died when he blew it up. And here I thought you were the crooked one. What about Donald? What happened to him? Well, here's the thing. Bill banished him into nothingness. For all intents and purposes, he's dead. Dead? No, that can't be true. Donald, he sacrificed himself for us. Damn you, Clintons. I will never forgive you. Donald, buddy, you can't be dead. Slow down, fellas. Don't start mourning too soon. After all, I am all-powerful. In case you've forgotten. Are you saying you're gonna help us get our friend back? Well, I am going to need him, and all of you for that matter. So we're going to owe you a favor in return for you saving him. Well, you catch on quick. It's not fair that they call you Sleepy Joe. Wait a sec. What's happening? What do you mean, Hill Dog? My body, it feels strange. Oh, God. It's in pain. Someone, please help. What's going on, Dr. Monty? I'm afraid there is no room in my perfect world for loose ends. Goodbye, Hillary. Hillary! Jesus Christ, what did you do to her? Simple. I banished her to the void in Donald's place, and Bill is none the wiser. That's fucked up. Even if she caused us a lot of pain, she didn't deserve that. Well, be grateful or don't, I don't care. It's time to talk business. Hold on a second. Where is Donald, then? You did save him, right? He is here with me. In the house. It's going to take a while to purge all the evil from his soul, from his time in the ether. Well, as long as we get the old Donald back, so what do you want from us, Dr. Minty? By this point, I'm sure you know about the multiverse, right? Well, it is a big, twisted, fucked up web. And you four are going to help me untangle it. That seems a bit above our pay grade. I mean, we couldn't even run the country without making some major missteps. And now you're asking us to fix the entire multiverse? Surely there's better candidates for this? It's not like I just pulled your names out of a bloody hat. If there were better candidates for the job, I certainly would have chosen them. But you are the presidential zomboys. Your group exists in every single universe. You four are different, however. Allow me to show you. What is this place? What are all of those orbs? Feast your eyes upon the infinite Earths. Inside each orb, as you call them, is a parallel universe. Amazing. And uh, what's the deal with those two that are floating above the rest? Ah, glad you asked. Those are the original two universes, before this all got out of hand when I gave humans free will to make their own choices. It was just one universe. And from that one universe came another. This second universe was radically different from the first, and from it came every other reality. I have kept the original universe mostly intact. I'm quite proud of it. I keep these two separate from the rest because of their importance. Let me guess, we're from the original universe? Good guess, George, but not quite. You four are actually from the second universe. Every action caused by your world's residents have resulted in a ripple effect across reality. Let me show you just how different each multiverse can be. In one universe, it may be just a slight difference, such as who made the ultimate sacrifice in Alcatraz. Stand back, gentlemen. Bill, you want my blood? Take my blood. However, in every universe that the Alcatraz incident happened, with the exception of yours, of course, the presidential zomboys met their end, as there was no Dark Brandon to come and deal the death blow to Bill. Still not sure where he came from. Crazy to think that could have happened to us. My head hurts. Don't lose focus, Joe. That was a simple example. In other universes, however, the changes are more radical. Uh, guys? That didn't come from my headset. That was real life. Shut up, Cracker. Hold on, I think Kyle is on to something. Holy shit, Trump would love that universe. He'd finally have the past to say what he's been dying to say for years. Please let me switch places with their Obama. 
I want to be with my own people. Absolutely not. Taking the place of your alternate self would have dire consequences. It could tear apart the fabric of reality. Damn it. There's one last universe I want to show you. You see, in some realities, you aren't even the presidential zomboys. I present to you the presidential zom girls. Well, this is unsettling to look at. Damn, George, you'd be looking kind of cute, though. Ah, did little old Georgina catch your eye? No, gross. Both of you just stop talking. He, or she, or whatever, looks exactly like me, just with long hair. Why show us all of this, Monty? What do we have to do? You had to see just how big the universe, or universes, are. Right now, there are four other versions of you that have been separated from their home dimensions. You must secure them for me. They are scattered all across space and time, but with your help, I can set things right. Where have I seen this before? All right, I suppose we'll help, but we need Donald back. It seems like we've reached a deal. Now, there is one other matter I must attend to, if you'll excuse me. Damn it, the freak bags are back! Guys, what do we do? We're completely outnumbered with no way out. There's nothing you can do, I'm afraid. But look at it this way. At least you'll die before the Apothecons come and devour your world. It'll be much more painless. Not sure what an Apothecon is, but I don't like the sounds of it. Damn it, we should have listened to Trump. I can't believe I'm agreeing with that. Why do you continue to resist, knowing that you cannot beat me? Because we've come too far, damn it. Hello, William. Huh? Who's there? Who I am is not important. What matters is what I can do. You see, I don't like when someone messes with my friends. And Donald is a friend of mine. Where are you? I demand you show yourself immediately. What on earth is going on now? Seems like someone has arrived. Someone even Bill doesn't know. Bill, I'm afraid this is where your story ends. And I will make sure it's painful. Nonsense. If I could destroy Trump when he was at maximum power, I can defeat you. Whoever you are. About that. It wasn't Trump you sent to suffer for all eternity. It was your wife. Sorry, had to kill two birds with one stone, you know? No, th th that's impossible. Listen, Bill, do you hear it? Deep within the infinite void, screaming, it's Hillary. Surely you must hear her begging for your help, though it will never come. Oh no, not my Hillary. You will pay for this, you monster. Mark my words. You think me a monster? Very well. Let me show you how much of a monster I can really be. Goodbye, Mr. President. For good this time. No! I have no idea what just happened, but thank you. So, are you able to send us home now? Yeah, this world is falling apart, and I don't want to be here when all hell really breaks loose. I'm afraid that won't be happening. You four will be staying right where you're at. Wait, what? You can't just leave us here. We're heroes. We were supposed to save the universe. And just who do you think gets to decide that? You? Don't make me laugh. You are not. We're not. And never will be important. You can't do this to us. Have mercy. The time for mercy is over. Enjoy what little of your lives you have left. What just happened? The globalists, they're responsible for this, right? President Trump is going to save us, isn't he? I don't think so, Alex. Ben, please, can you hold me? I'm scared. Whoa, did anyone hear that? Hear what? 
The only thing you should be hearing is me falcon punching Donnie's ass off screen. I don't know why the fuck I picked Kirby, but this was clearly not the play. Ooh, get sucked up! That's what Melania said to me last night. Guys, seriously, I swear I just heard something. It sounded like maybe someone's breaking in. It's just the storm, George. Come sit down. Still, I'm kind of freaked out. It feels like someone is watching us. It's probably just the paparazzi trying to sneak photos of us doing something embarrassing again. Speaking of embarrassments, where's Joe? I don't understand it. What do you mean, go back? I just got here. Your world? How am I supposed to know where that is? I don't even know who you are. The time is almost at hand. You will find out soon enough. But for now, just know me as... Vengeance.